Going to be going to Epcot's Festival of the Arts today. We have eaten at three separate restaurants during this trip and we'll average those totals together and compare it to what we spend eating around World Showcase. We'll let you know which one is better. Mm -hmm. The goal is to compare the price of eating a meal at an Epcot Festival to eating a meal at one of Disney's other um, restaurants. Okay, and what? See which one's cheaper? See which one's cheaper. Okay. Or the well, let's go. Let's go. Crispy pork belly, tomato jam, and soft poached egg. $7. Pork belly with poached egg and tomato jam. It is. It's real tasty. Yes, it is. $7. It's nice because the prices include, well, there's no tax on food, so whatever's on the <laughs> The menu board is the actual cost, so seven bucks. Awesome. You already know how this is because we had this yesterday. Shh. <laughs> That's secret. Mm. It does not look that appealing. No, it doesn't. I'll be the first to admit it, but. Yeah. Like the pork belly doesn't look crispy, but it definitely is. What do you think? It's good. Are you going to give me a bite or are you keeping this one? Nope. Uh -huh. Refreshment pork, they have beef brisket poutine. Or $8.99. I think we're gonna get poutine. So it's fries with a cheese sauce and beef brisket on top, topped with crispy onions. Mm. This was $8.99. But this one did not, this one they charged as tax, 59 cents. So the total was $9.58. Oh, that's weird. I don't, maybe this is considered a non food, I don't know. Or. Maybe because it's a a stand that's here year round, they don't put the tax on the menu. Like it's not like a portable menu like the rest of it. Either way, this is amazing. Uh, also, uh, we're touring the World Showcase. We thought we'd do this uh, Festival of the Arts map. It was like 750 with tax, and uh, at the end you get some sort of prize. But you have to find all these figment paintings just to give us a break between meals because we like to eat, but I don't think we can eat that frequently. <laughs> so the first stop for us, because we went right, is gonna be Canada. Mushroom risotto. Yeah. And it was nine twenty-five. Yeah. We asked the guy that was at the cash register why the refreshment port added tax and why some of the booths don't add tax. And the answer was um, the festival booths don't include tax and he didn't know why. But the booths that are here all year round do add tax. Mm. Maybe it's um, an international thing. I don't know. But this is aged parmesan with Aborio rice and like two mushrooms. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure. This is like, pretty expensive for what you get. Yes. It is very small. Yeah, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. Mm. Oh, it's interesting. It's a little pungent. Like you get a almost a truffle taste to begin with. And the risotto is nice and creamy. What would you get yourself there? Uh, mm. For ten seventy five, you too can have this oh grandma knee slush. <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> it is so expensive. It's your favorite though, it right? It is my favorite. It is so good. And for, I think it's twelve seventy five for $2, you can get a shot of grandma knee in it. But it's early. I need to pace myself, so. Mm -hmm. Man up, bruh. Mm -hmm.
was a little splurge. I got the sushi donut, which is uh, salmon, shrimp, tuna. Um, and there was wasabi? Oh, yeah, there's a, like a pea-sized wasabi. And this is masusaki in a, a commemorative wooden cup. So this was seven fifty, and this is twelve dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really difficult to drink <laughs> to drink out of this though. Yeah, it's not put together very well. Really. Uh -uh. As far as sushi goes, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Not as fresh as I've had it, but it's not bad. All right, I was starting to get a little. Grumpy Emily was having all the fun. I got a beer flight from the Americas. <laughs> um, this is a wheat ale. We have a blonde, an IPA, and a porter. I believe they're all beers from Florida, um, but I didn't. I was hoping they'd give me like a little paper so I could sound like a little bit more professional, but cheers. It was uh, 10 50 for the flight. So. Did they add tax? Because this isn't a, um, this isn't a... Uh, really actually... No, I think the sign said 1050 and that's how much it was. Okay, so here's an update on uh, Disney's Figment Brush with the Masters. The picture placement is a lot more difficult than it was last year. Last year, all the pictures were in stores. So you kind of knew where to go to look mm -hmm. at the pictures. These are everywhere like one of the pictures without giving it away was in like a kids area mm -hmm. um one of the pictures was in like a fountain area they're just not where you expect them to be so they're harder to find but it's a good thing it does make it interesting so if you've done it last year i would still recommend doing it again this year um we are five pictures in we still have to do the american adventure which is where we are now then we'll be halfway done. No peaky. Emily and I were just talking about like our favorite festival and I, I'm definitely thinking that Festival of the Arts is my favorite like by far. One, it is way less crowded. Two, the weather. I, you're kind of taking a chance like food and wine has way more food selection but there's so many more people and it is so much hotter. Here it's just, it's not crowded, like, nobody's miserable from the humidity. Like, it is absolutely stunning right now. It is, like, we're sitting, I, I it's awesome. Come. Like, if you're from the north and you come down here in January or February, you're going to appreciate the weather and you're going to appreciate the crowds if you've ever been to Food and Wine, so. Not to mention, having, having 35 booths to choose from, Makes it a little overwhelming. Yeah, you almost have to come like several days, which I guess gives it repeatability. Versus here, there's not as many booths, but the food's a little bit more adventurous, a little bit more artistic, hence Festival of the Arts. Um, and it's good. Like, I, I'm not a weird eater, but I like the food here, most of it. And uh, yeah, it's a good time. Cheers. Mm. This is the porter. Tastes like chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, like This is what we should have got the first time. A Sam Adams Boston Lager. Traditional poutine has the gravy and the cheese curds. Collectively, it was 1703. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, we should have a running total on the screen for you somewhere. Mm. Is it much better? The cheese curds are cold. Oh. I feel like it should be warm. Well, normally the gravy is hot enough and the fries are hot enough that it melts the cheese curds. So maybe eat around the cheese for the first couple bites. Right. 
so overall, we started eating at 11. It's now 2.30. Um, so it was a really long lunch. And over the course of the lunch, we spent insert dollar amount. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll let you know. How it compares to a traditional Walt Disney World dining restaurant for us. Now keep in mind, we do drink. With dinner, we typically always buy a bottle of wine. I'd be at the cheapest bottle, so, but it still usually runs about 50 US dollars. And, uh, and then our meals, so. We'll also obviously post up the average dinner cost and we'll compare it to this. So I guess it's to each his own. We'll see. And you are getting exercise while you're walking around World Showcase eating all this food. Right. And you need a nap after both, so. Take it for what I'm gonna eat all the food if you don't stop recording. the statue to grab. Got her now. Back in action. 